History of art is an incredibly rich, broad subject. It's really the history of culture, the history of ideas. It's always been a passion of mine outside of the studies that I was doing in school. I just wanted to be able to understand the art more, not see it so quickly, but really appreciate it. History of art at Cambridge is a three-year degree. Um, in the first year, everyone's together and they do an introduction to the history of art and it's a grounding for the rest of the course. Students study a whole range of painting, sculpture, architecture, printmaking, film and so forth. Uh, and then that leads in the second year and third year to greater choice uh, as students specialise in the areas of history of art they're most interested in. You can study a variety of things like Tudor art, Russian art, surrealism, British architecture, there's many options to choose from and we encourage our students to be diverse in their selection. History of art teaching in Cambridge fundamentally takes place in four different ways. First there are lectures, second there is a lot of field work, thirdly uh, there are seminars and fourthly there are supervisions. Supervisions are close group teaching with one or two, sometimes three students, um, with the lecturer who convenes the course or other members of staff who have specialism. The facilities in Cambridge are incredible. We have access to seven different museums which we engage with on the course in different ways. We've got the Fitzwilliam Museum, um, a place where we go and study as well and have some of our lessons. If you're interested in more modern art, we've also got um, Kettle's Yard. And also London isn't too far away, so we do get to do study days at some of the London museums. But we don't just engage with objects on display. We also look at things in the reserve collections and in the archives. We concentrate very much as well on the manufacture of works of art. So not just what works of art look like, but how they've been made. You can get up close and personal with a Rembrandt print. You can really see the master at work and for me that's a really special experience. There's a good work-life balance. Um, you do get free time, like my weekends are normally quite chill. I like to do a lot of sports, uh, especially for my college where I row. I'm a gallery assistant at the Hong Gallery in Downing College. There's a lot of advice that you can get within the department and also within your own college. We all have our individual director of studies who supports us in anything re related to academia, um, but also personal. Also your supervisors are great to talk to. They're very knowledgeable and they want to see you do well, so they're going to help you if you have a problem. A graduate in History of Art from Cambridge has many career prospects in front of them. From working in museums and galleries to working in the commercial art world, art publishing, graphic design, to working in research. Visuality is an incredibly important part of the way that people communicate. There are limitless opportunities for people with visual intelligence. Because I don't come from an art historical background, I found the interview offered a really great opportunity to actually talk to people who knew a lot about the subject and it just helped me reaffirm the fact that, yeah, this is the subject that I wanted to study. If you're passionate about the subject, you have a chance to, to get into Cambridge and to study history of art here. You should really do it. History of art has really opened my eyes to um, the way that we interact with visual culture more broadly in our daily lives and has really changed the way I interact with the world. Mm -hmm.